King Charles's coronation falls on a pretty important day. Buckingham Palace announced plans for the royal's coronation, and it includes three days of festivities, beginning Saturday, May 6, which just so happens to be Charles's grandson, Archie's birthday. The king and his wife, Queen Camilla, will be crowned at Westminster Abbey on May 6 before taking part in the coronation procession to Buckingham Palace, where Charles and fellow members of the royal family will make an appearance on the balcony. It's unclear who will join Charles on the balcony, but if Queen Elizabeth's trooping the color was any inclination, it will only be working royals, aka no Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But there's also a lot of speculation that the couple might skip the whole thing entirely. After all, it is their son's fourth birthday on May 6, and Prince Harry aired a lot of family drama in his new memoir, Spare. King Charles's coronation activities are set to continue on May 7th with a concert that will feature a lineup of, quote, global music icons and contemporary stars, which will be broadcasted on BBC, according to Buckingham Palace. On Sunday, UK citizens are also encouraged to share food and have fun with their neighbors during an event dubbed Coronation Big Lunch. And the weekend will conclude on Monday, May 8th, with volunteer activities planned by local communities. Charles took over the role as king after his mother, Queen Elizabeth, passed away in September. Following her death, Access Hollywood spoke to DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston, and she broke down the new line of secession. As soon as the Queen passed away, Charles, as the official successor, became the king. Now, it was revealed not too long after her death that he will not change his name. That is an option that new monarchs have. However, Charles will keep his name and he will be King Charles III. As soon as the Queen passed away, he became the king. Now, obviously, there will need to be an official coronation, but that will not happen for several months to come because the key priority right now is honoring and celebrating the legacy of Her Majesty, and no one wants to jump the gun with the coronation proceedings before that is allowed to take place. And it's obviously an incredibly difficult time for Charles right now because, yes, he is now the king and he has ascended officially to the throne, but he is also a son who is mourning his mother, and that must be an unbelievably difficult set of emotions to balance. The reason that everyone was gathered was quite simply so that they could pay their respects and say goodbye to the matriarch of their family. Yes, we are used to seeing the royal family as the monarchy, as quote unquote the firm, but in the hours leading up to the Queen's death, they were first and foremost a family. And what we saw today with all of the members of her immediate family arriving in Scotland was a grandchild, a son, a daughter, arriving in order to be by the Queen's side as she passed away. So Prince Charles is now King Charles III. His wife, Camilla, is the Queen consort. Prince William remains Prince William. However, he is now the official successor to the throne. And should Prince Charles pass away, should Prince Charles abdicate, which we do not think is something that will happen,